we are ready to rock and roll. <gasps> Lord. Hi, Matthew. Oh, it's so fun to play with receipt paper, isn't it? Come here. Oh, my baby. It's okay. Relax. Relax. I gotta zoom out. He is on the move. He is on the prowl. This is for okay. Come on. It's okay. Okay. Okay, bye. He's done. And I'm done too. Well, that was Maddie Healy. And I'm not messing about. My brand new Russian blue cat. My gutter cat who now refuses any food we give him when it's not served to him on the fine china. Where did he go? No. It was at this moment that he knew. I almost just fell backwards on this chair. You see him? You see him? You see him? You see him? It's his first time in the studio today. So there are so many exciting things for him to check out. So he is on the move. Look at him. He's a majestic beast. But he was a stray cat that we took in. And we posted him in a bunch of lost pet Facebook groups. And nobody claimed him. And he's like the coolest cat ever. Now that we've welcomed the newest member of the family, let's get on with this video. I need water! 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 I need it! Water's for quitters! But it's actually not even Halloween when I'm filming this video. It's freaking bats. I love Halloween. But when I'm posting this, we're coming up on the holiday season. Whatever holiday you celebrate, I love that for you. But since I grew up traumatized, I mean Christian, I celebrate Christmas. Merry Chrysler! But with holiday season approaching, it got me thinking about what I want for Christmas, what I'm gonna get some of my friends for Christmas, and being a musician myself, I have a lot of friends who are musicians. So I thought I would compile a list of ideas ideas of things I could get my musician friends, and I thought I would share it with you guys too. Because I'm assuming if you're watching this, you're either a musician or have a friend who's a musician and you don't know what the f to get them for Christmas. Again, thank you to all the amazing musicians who helped me make this video and give me suggestions to form this list. I'll put all their links in the description below because we love them. So here are 30 things, what? so here are 30 things on every musician's Christmas list. Now I've broken these down into some categories. Where's my, where's my phone? I need my list. Where is my phone? There is my phone. I don't have it memorized. Not that good. I'm not that good. Now I've broken these things down into three different categories. Cheap little things, some mid-range price things, and some more expensive things. I think I have 10 ideas in each category. We're gonna start out with some of the cheap little things that every musician is always in need. The first thing, guitar picks. Oh, now they're all over the floor. Ah! Anybody I know who plays guitar for Christmas, birthday, whatever, I always get them guitar picks. And apparently there's a pick shortage going on right now. I don't really know what that means. But some other things in that vein. Velcro cable ties and these little things. Quarter inch to eighth inch dongles. All three of those things are one of the- are one of those things- Oh my god, I sound like Ross Matthews. You know that thing? You know that thing? But really, you know that thing when you don't need it, there's a million everywhere, but when you need one, there are none to be found? That's what guitar picks, cable ties, and quarter inch to eighth inch audio jacks are. Oh, same with nine volt batteries. Get your musician friends nine volt batteries. Another thing is a tuner. I like these little snark ones that they clip right on the top of the guitar. And they just take a little watch battery. These are really great, they're really convenient, they're really affordable too. Also other miscellaneous guitar accessories, like strings, a capo, maybe a strap, or a little pick holder, or even just something as simple as a notebook. Like a portable little notebook that they can take everywhere they go, that they can jot down song ideas in, write chords to a new song they're learning, or something like that. Something like that, babe. Do you know what I mean? Not a f***ing mean, babe. Okay, now let's talk about some mid-range price gifts. Oh, you. All of my credit cards just fell out of the back of my phone. The first one is a toy piano. This just in, toy pianos are not just for kids. <laughs> This is a Casio SA46. I think this was like $30, maybe 40. Even though it's not the greatest instrument in the world, like I wouldn't take this to a gig. I wouldn't necessarily use this to record a song. I wouldn't necessarily use this in the studio, but it's a great portable little tool to keep like on my bedside table or in a backpack to write songs on the go or to practice or to learn new songs. Quite a few of my songs were written on this little thing. And like, it doesn't sound bad at all. I actually really like a couple of the sounds on this. Any kind of like auxiliary percussion instruments. Some of them are really cheap. Others are a little more expensive but still pretty affordable. Like any little like shakers or bells or those are always useful in the studio for adding texture and dimension to drum tracks. And if you have kids give them a f***ing maraca and they'll be entertained for an hour. Next is a mini amplifier. I've been seeing these things on Instagram. A lot of different brands make them. It's like a little teeny tiny guitar amp that plugs right into your guitar and then you plug your headphones in. So it's not like a full amplifier. It's just a guitar amp for headphones. There are also a lot of teeny tiny amplifiers with actual speakers in them that are very very affordable. Next is a PGA48 microphone. Ow, ow, I dropped it on my foot. Ow, 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 ow. But this is basically the cheaper cousin of the SN58. I bought a bunch of these when we were doing the podcast, <laughs> rest in peace. And they're a really great mic for the price. If you're just like recording demos or you're performing in a bar, this is a perfect mic for that. Next thing I thought
thought of as a guitar wall hanger. This one's actually made for a ukulele. What about a gig bag? A nice durable bag that you can put all your cables and microphones and such in when you're going to a gig. Or even just to store your stuff in so it's out of the way. What about a portable guitar stand? I have a lot of friends who play in like bars and wineries and stuff around where I live. And they all have these neat little guitar stands that fold up really small and you can just shove in a backpack. As opposed to something giant like this that needs its own like life insurance plan. I've seen these things called pocket synthesizers. Some of them are very affordable. Some of them are a little more money. I'm talking between like 40 and $100. But they're just little rudimentary synthesizers that are more of a neat little gimmick rather than like a go-to musical instrument. You could also do a portable vocal booth. Again, there are a variety of them for a wide price range. But basically it's like a little foam box that you put the microphone inside of and it's like having your own little vocal booth. The last thing in this category is just a gift card to <laughs> Guitar Center, to Sweetwater, and a lot of online retail stores that sell like synth modules and stuff. They offer the ability to like, gift somebody credit to their store. Okay, now let's talk about some more expensive things. Cause you know, some people are just worth more money than others. <laughs> It sounds so shitty, but I can't think of a better way to put it. Like, you would spend more money on, like, your parent or your significant other than you would for, like, a random friend or a co-worker. You get what I mean? The first thing I thought of was an audio recorder. This is a Zoom H5 handy recorder. This is on the more expensive side, but you can get really great ones that do the, all the same things without all the bells and whistles for under $100. A condenser mic is always a great gift. Uh, let me look up some, like, affordable ones. Uh, the AT2020 is a good one. Rode makes some really affordable ones. While we're talking about microphones. Do I have one around here somewhere? I swear to God, I have. What the fuck? We talked about the PG-58 earlier, but they have a better, slightly more expensive cousin, the SM-58, which is like a gold standard microphone. Also, the SM-57 is a really great microphone. They're really great for recording like guitars and stuff, while the 58s are better for vocals. They're both around $100. Soundproofing materials are a great gift. You can get different types of materials for different prices. If you want to learn more about different soundproofing materials, you can click up here. But okay, where's, where, where's my hard drive? Another really great gift is an SSD drive. These are really great hard drives. I pretty much live and breathe and die by these things. I run Logic and all my Logic projects off of it. I also run Final Cut Pro for when I'm editing videos. And recording music and making videos, you have a lot of really big files. So having the space to store all of it is paramount. Headphones are always a great gift. Not earbuds. Headphones that cover the whole ear, preferably noise canceling. But good headphones for mixing and recording are a really great gift. Next. A ukulele! This one is a more expensive one because it's an electric acoustic. You can get ones that are very affordable. You can also get really nice ones if you spend a little bit more money. A lot of people I consulted said that they would love guitar pedals as gifts, especially like effects pedals or a looper pedal. And I guarantee you, if you gift somebody a looper pedal, they will be so grateful for it. The last thing on my list is synth plugins. There are a ton of synth plugins out there. And we're sort of in this like classic vintage synth resurgence right now. And a lot of different companies make virtual, very affordable versions of some very classic, vintage, extremely expensive synthesizers. And like I said before, a lot of these companies or online retailers that sell these plugins offer online gift cards or online credit that you can send to somebody. Well, that's my story. That's my truth today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I helped you with some of your holiday shopping. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram and check out my music if you would like. Please, 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 it would really mean a lot. All of those links are in the description below. And again, thank you to everybody who helped me make this video. I'll also put all their links in the description below. But that's all I got today. But that's all I got left in me for today. And I will see you in the next one. My pants are falling down.